Hi, and welcome to this week's Decred news update. I'm your host, Exodus, and there is so much going on within the Decred project. Decred 1.6 is finally here, much to the joy of the Decred Collective. This is a huge milestone for the project with years of development coming together. All Decred users should upgrade to version 1.6 by going to decred.org and downloading the new software. We're also seeing a number of different all-time highs across various different on-chain metrics. Privacy participation, staking participation, and the value of the Decred treasury is going up as the Decred exchange rate goes up. Politea also had a record voter turnout in the latest proposal with a 70% voter turnout, with over 29,000 votes cast. To start, let's quickly go over what this new release encompasses. A new vote to decentralize the Decred treasury will begin once 75% of stakers and 95% of miners upgrade their software. As you can see, the staker portion has been completed, and now we are just waiting on miners to upgrade. Once this happens, a voting window will open up, and stakers will cast their vote over a rule change interval window of roughly four weeks. Once voting has finished, the new rules will activate if at least 75% of stakers vote yes, or the new rules will be rejected and remain dormant. Decred's protocol decisions are made by actual coin holders with skin in the game, not a small central planning committee like in most cryptocurrencies. A new form of voting service providers for staking is here called VSPD. VSPD removes the need to sign up and provide an email to a VSP, thus enhancing user privacy and making the process of staking even easier. Furthermore, users no longer need to store a redeem script and there is no address reuse. VSP fees are paid up front in an on-chain transaction. VSPD also enables tickets to be purchased with funds mixed through Decred it's Coin Shuffle Plus Plus Mixnet. This increases the size of the overall anonymity set, which provides greater privacy for Decred users. To give a brief walkthrough of how to stake with VSPD, go to the Staking tab, select the VSP, select the number of tickets you want, and then just buy the ticket. You'll need to wait for the ticket to go through the Mixnet if you have privacy enabled, so this could take a bit of time as the mixing occurs in epochs of 20 minutes. With this new system, you pay the VSP fee up front, so you'll need to wait until the transaction has been mined and the wallet has confirmed your VSP fee has been paid. I'm putting together a more in-depth walkthrough for the new staking system, so make sure you are subscribed to this channel so you do not miss any updates. Users can now mix and anonymize their Decred in the Privacy tab in just a few short mouse clicks. I've put together a tutorial for mixing which you can view here on this YouTube channel. The more Decred mixed, the more fungible it becomes. Over 32% of the current Decred circulating supply is mixed, which is incredible in its own right and will only go up as more users opt in to mix their coins. Decred's Lightning Network has now been fully integrated into its wallet. Users can now receive and send payments virtually instantly with minimal transaction fees. Lightning on Decred is still new, so there aren't too many channels or activity on it as of now. But there are just so many possibilities for growth on Lightning. It will be exciting to see it play out. I will also be working on video tutorials on how to transact on the Lightning Network and how to set up and run your own Lightning node. On Decrediton, there is a new page showing a list of unspent outputs. VSPs are now shown in random order in the Tickets tab. Ticket status will update on starts, restarts, and seed restores. There's auto detection if the wallet used mixing in the past. There are now UI hints for RFP proposals and submissions, and a few updates to Trezor support. On new desktop wallet GoDCR, the UI and setup for stake shuffle mixing was implemented. Sign message, verify message, settings, and wallet settings pages have also been added, among other UX and bug fixes. Mobile wallets are also continuing work on adding privacy and Politea support. Users can also create a watch-only wallet from the splash screen. Decred.org has a new sleek page dedicated to the 1.6 release. The Decred address scanner has been updated and is now available on the Google Play Store. Decrediton integration is waiting review. DCR DEX Phase 2 proposal was approved by stakeholders. This means work to begin adding SPV support, Ethereum atomic swaps, and Decrediton integration has begun. The Decred community has been active as well. Decred Arabia celebrated Decred's five-year anniversary with a presentation and some cake. In these five years, there have been no 51% attacks, zero downtime, a number of community-directed consensus changes, serious upgrades like privacy, lightning, a DEX, simple payments verification, and a public proposal platform. There have also been no minority forks away from the protocol to fracture the community. Decred researcher Checkmate has accepted a role at Glassnode as an on-chain analyst. 
He will also be interviewed on Real Vision on February 17th, so don't miss that. Decode project lead Jayco Kampaya was interviewed about version 1.6 on CoinScrum. With Decred, what we're we're trying to be, uh, uh, you know, the evolution of money. Decred is money evolved, and we do that by by having, you know, by by knocking out three, you know, three major things: security, um, uh, adaptability, and s sustainability. We're secure because people can't arbitrarily double spend on our network. We're uh, adaptable because we can, our, our consensus rules can change over time. We evolve via hard forks. And then um, in terms of uh, sustainability, we're, we are a self-funded project. That is that subsidies from our blockchain are used to fund the ongoing development and you know, build out of, that, you know, of the project. And the 1.6 release that we're talking about today is the largest, I think it's the largest single release of Decred that has occurred since its launch. And that's because there, you know, there's so much there's so much packed into it that I even have to be brief about what I'm talking about uh, in the context of 1.6. Decred was listed on the African exchange First Kuti in Nigeria. Travis Klink says there are very few crypto assets in existence that can put up to be a credible case to be a store of value and that he likes Decred. So, so let's say something new comes along, right? And that's the Google, Bitcoin was the ass chiefs. What would the characteristics, what would the characteristics be? Like what would be the the improvement relative to Bitcoin? Like like I don't I don't know what is like what does that look like? There's there, there's very few crypto assets in existence today that can even put up a credible case to be a store of value, and they're all drastically like it's like is Litecoin a competitor to Bitcoin? Like I mean I don't, I don't maybe right Bitcoin Cash maybe Decred I like Decred. Stake Podcast released an episode with Emad Perez who works for MetalPay. What is it about Decred that makes you so excited? Just a really heavy intellectual focus around Decred, uh, which is not super price focused. It reminds me of early Bitcoin. Around the same time that I got into it back in 2014, people were really just talking about fundamentals and technology. Decred really represents to me maybe the opportunity to truly have a, a digital cash system thanks to you know, it's, it's properties being more fungible, adaptable, and uh, and offering the on-chain yield in the native asset. Richard Red released an article on Decred's proof of work. This one gets into clustering proof of work miners and drawing out network graphs representing their addresses and transactions in the flow of mine DCR2 exchanges, the ticket pool, and beyond. Richard says there have been 192 addresses which receive proof of work rewards directly from the Coinbase and these in turn sent the freshly minted DCR onto 242,226 addresses. He also says a large recipient of proof of work mine coins has also received significant flows of non mine DCR, including some from the airdrop and treasury payouts. This is a large, informative report. I recommend everyone read the full thing by visiting blockcommons.red. MonPR helped raise awareness and secure various Decred media across several news sites related to the Decred 1.6 upgrade including BEG News, Crypto Mode, Crypto Briefing, Invez, Cryptocurrency Newscast, and on Explica. The DEX was named on Zangle.io as a top decentralized exchange to watch in 2021. Furthermore, project lead J.K. Kampai was featured on Modern Consensus on how the GameStop saga highlights the benefits of DCR DEX and decentralized exchanges. He says, decentralized exchanges like DCR DEX enable people to trade with minimal friction, risk, and centralization. Decred and other cryptocurrencies level the playing field in an otherwise rigged financial system that is set up to benefit those at the top. Now let's take a look at network statistics. Staking participation hit an all-time high of 57.07%. The ticket price hit a new all-time high of 214.55, possibly even higher by the time this video goes live. The value of the treasury also shut up to over 70 million US dollars. We hit a new high of coins mix in one day with over 388,000. Nearly 4 million DCR or about 32% of the circulating supply is mixed. These metrics are being broken week after week it seems. Be sure to check them out for yourself at dcrdata.org. Now let's review activity on Politea, Decred's public proposal system. 
On Politea, we have two new proposals that are in the voting stage. First is the Open Source Research 2021 proposal from Richard Redd. This proposal seeks $40,000 US dollars payable in Decred to continue to fund research and data collection related to the Decred blockchain, Decred community, and other competing governance-based blockchain projects. $10,000 will be allocated to non-Decred research, and $9,150 will be allocated to Decred contractor B to perform open data collection on social media stats, network stats, proposals, translations, events, among other areas of interest. Research helps us understand more about the Decred blockchain and what is occurring on the network. It can also help inform stakeholders on what path to take in the future. All of Richard's work can be viewed on CryptoCommons.cc and on BlockCommons.red. Commentators were supportive of continuing research efforts, though some asked for more reports involving non-decred research. More interesting topics like privacy and some were not approving of non-decred research. Next is the Decred Journal 2021 proposal from B. This proposal requests a budget between $34,000 to $39,000 to produce and publish the Decred Journal in the Politea Digest for 2021. The Decred Journal is a monthly publication of all the activity happening within the Decred project. From network stats to development updates, it is a one-stop shop for anyone looking to learn what's been going on within the Decred project. The Politea Digest is a summary of Politea proposals and their voting outcomes to help keep voters informed and updated on what's happening on the platform and the direction of the project. B writes for 30 minutes a month, one can stay up to date and educated on what's happening within Decred. Decred journal issues normally contain 5,000 words and link to 240 sources. Commentators praise the quality of the Decred journal and look forward to seeing it continue. Stakeholders can of course vote on these proposals right from the Decred wallet in the Governance tab. We had four proposals finish voting. Proposals need at least 60% voter approval in order to pass, with at least 20% voter turnout. The Decred DEX development phase 2 proposal passed with 98.2% approval. In total, 22,213 votes were cast with a 53% voter turnout. The Decred In Depth podcast proposal passed with 86.3% approval. There was a voter turnout of 28%. The Decred Arabia communications and content creation proposal passed with 96.2% approval. A total of 22,833 votes were cast, which means a 55% voter turnout. And finally, Amaruni's book proposal failed with 57% voter turnout. A total of 29,066 votes were cast, which is a voter turnout of 70%. This is the highest voter turnout ever in the history of Politea for a proposal. Thank you so much for watching this Decred news update. Be sure to check out Decred.org to learn more about the project. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at Decred.org.